Thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Sugeo Yoden uh, from the Graduate School of Science. And uh, our contribution for the education uh, basically for the part of the climate change issue. And we have an uh, uh, English class for the master course and also the field training course using the field facilities of uh, DPRI in Shio no Misaki and Shirahama, uh, southern part of the Honshu Island, and also the MU radar system in Sigaraki uh, in collaboration with the RISH, uh, Research Institute Sustainable Human Sphere. And today I mostly focus on the uh, research aspect in a group and uh, myself. And uh, our activity, research activity, largely related to the WCRP Spark program, particularly for the understanding of climate variation and change in the stratosphere troposphere coupled system. So, this is the homepage of WCRP, uh, World Climate Research Program, and the history of uh, several decades. And uh, I think that WSCRP aims to determine the predictability of uh, climate and the uh, effect of uh, human activities on climate. And the SPAC is uh, one of the five uh, activities under WCRP. Uh, SPAC sta stands on the stratosphere troposphere processes and their role in climate. And this community has a very strong uh, point of the collaboration of the atmospheric or climate dynamics and uh, atmospheric chemistry. Uh, for example, uh, ozone hole issue is uh, one of the biggest uh, targets we have done in the past. And uh, this is our recent report on the, our uh, activities. And the title is uh, uh, Stratosphere and its role in the tropical teleconnections. And uh, this is one of the hot subject. And this figure is a satellite image uh, provided by the Japan Meteorological Agency, a uh, GMSS satellite, Himawari 8. And this is a true color image. And uh, you can see the large uh, aggregation of the convective systems. And we notice this is a typical uh, modern Julian oscillation. It have a time scale of uh, several weeks or a few months. And uh, that cover this kind of size. But each component consists of this kind of uh, convection, convex systems. And uh, the modern Julian oscillation is an aggregation of this kind of system. And uh, our interest in the vertical coupling, this is basically the phenomena in the troposphere, but uh, the condition in the structures also influence this kind of activities. And uh, this is a kind of a summary of the uh, spatial and temporal scale of the atmospheric phenomena. And uh, these days, multi-scale interactions of these phenomena from uh, small scale to planetary scale and uh, very short time to uh, annual or interannual time scale very important. And as I said, the tropical process is largely different from that in mid-latitude. And the uh, important thing is that energy source is a small-scale convection in the tropics. On the other hand, in the mid-latitude, the large-scale component dominates. And uh, in the la several, last several decades, there is much improvement of the numerical modeling in the extra tropics. So nowadays we have a very accurate numerical weather forecast in middle latitudes. But uh, in the tropics, it's totally different situation. And the large uncertainty of the climate projection exists in the tropics. 
still we have a poor performance relatively to the middle latitude. One of the interesting phenomena is the equatorial QBO, quasi biennial oscillations of the zonal mean zonal wind in the stratosphere. This is the time height sections from 10 kilometers up to 30. So here is a lower uh, stratosphere. And you can see the very regular internal fluctuations. And if we have a linkage of this to the troposphere, this is a very uh, predictable component. Okay. And these days, there are lots of work on the remote influence of the QBO to the tropical, uh, tropospheric uh, variations. And here's some uh, summary uh, diagram uh, of our recent research activities, international collaborations of, uh, on the research on the stratospheric influence on multi-scale interactions of moist convection in the tropos tropical troposphere. As I said, the moist convection is a key component, but uh, it's modulated by a diurnal cycle. And also, organization of moist convection produces a typical tropical phenomenon, tropical cyclone, and also the modern Julian oscillations. These have a week to month time scales. And uh, we also have a very clear annual component forced by the seasonal cycle. And we call it a monsoon. And uh, longer time scale, El Nino Southern Oscillation is a very clear signal in the tropics. And longer time scale, we have a climate change issues. And uh, the important thing is uh, there is a linkage, whole the range. At the same time, if we look at the stratosphere, they also have an uh, interest signal to uh, internal time scale variations. And the QBO is a very clear one, and the solar cycle over 11 years also another. And these days, uh, there are very clear cooling trend due to the human activities. And these also have an uh, impact for the societal activities, including a short time scale, gusty wind, fresh flood, a uh, flood, and also the economic activity in the interseason time scales. Much longer time scale drought and the biodiversity, this kind of uh, application we have to study. In the last several years, uh, we organized uh, international works to start uh, the international collaboration, the stratospheric dynamic coupling in the tropics. Yeah, we started a small group. Uh, and uh, last year, we had a joint workshop of uh, several activities under the SPAC. And, uh, so this is a group photo of the participant. And currently, we, we are going to prepare the next uh, large uh, SPAC General Assembly this year in Kyoto in October. So we have uh, over 550 abstracts and uh, expecting uh, 400 participants or so. so I think that the, these are uh, our activities for the recent uh, collaboration in the international communities. Okay. Thank you very much for the participation.